everybody. Welcome back to my channel. <sighs> All right, I'm going to tell y'all about week number 10. And really, it's kind of week 9 and 10, the five in a row parts of it. So we've been reading the book, How to Bake an Apple Pie and See the World. So I'm just going to go through and kind of tell you about the things we did during this book. And also... I'll tack on some videos at the end to show you what we did. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of show you their binders and try to remind myself of what we did. This is Elin's and that's as much as she wanted to do in her copy work that day. She traced the words but just didn't feel like coloring, so whatever. Sometimes they find stuff like this halfway done and they'll come back and just do it because they want to color. We did a world map and they actually labeled the countries according to what the ingredients in the story. The whole story is, it's a girl who wants to bake an apple pie, but the market is closed. So she decides to go all over the world and get the ingredients for the pie. So we talked about Italy, France, Sri Lanka, England, the Indian Ocean, Jamaica, and Vermont. So, um, so we kind of colored all those places on here, if you can see our little countries that we colored. And yeah, so that was her map. Then this was one we did about keeping fruit food fresh. It says how do we keep food fresh? And there's her food and she didn't write how. So you'll have to find out in another binder what we wrote because what is salt? And we kind of actually glued some salt down here just for the fun of it to make it look like a salt shaker. It says it's the only rock we eat, we can eat. And this is its scientific uh, abbreviation and it's called sodium chloride. How about that? Um, we talked about the fruit of the spirit and she's just not, she actually thought, said she messed up on this page and wanted a new one and I didn't give her one. So that's as far as she got with that. And then we labeled we kind of talked about, we found each flag on our little, our map has the flags all around the bottom, but they're like T19 microscopic. The kids can see them. I'm, I'm like getting old and just I'm like, can barely see. So we actually broke out a magnifying glass for that. Not that the kids needed it, but it was fun for them to try. Um, but they got the wheat from Italy, the chicken from France, cinnamon from Sri Lanka. Oh, I can't turn pages today for some reason. Um... Milk from a cow from England, sugar from Jamaica, sugar cane actually, and apples from Vermont. And she did this as one of her copywork pages. Apple pie, yum. We talked about food, different food groups, and they cut these out and glued them down. So that was hers. Then we did our, our painting it was supposed to be a street scene. I don't think any of them really understood that. That was as far as she got with that. Abstract art. So that was hers. And then that was all. We also did an apple taste testing. So um, that was fun. And I'll just show you one more. I'll show you Everett's. That was an example of like a kindergartner work. This is Everett's second grade. Which is basically, he did the same things, only some things he wrote for himself. Um, that was his. This is Fruit of the Spirit. For someone who didn't use to like the color, I thought he did a really good job. Um, oh, he actually, and I'll cover this up because it has the name of our, our addresses on there. But we actually, um, he made an invitation to our apple pie day. Um, where we had an apple taste testing and everything. So we told them where to, when to come and where. He wrote that himself and colored it. And then I took a picture of it and texted it to my friends because that's how good I am about mailing invitations. But we talked about hospitality and that kind of thing with that. This is his what is salt. Oh, you see he wrote his own on that one. And then on his, how do we keep food fresh? I don't know if you can read that, because it's in really light crayon, but it, he said we keep it cold. 
And this is his map. Here's his flag page, which they all did really well on that. I wrote the, the names of the countries on a dry erase board and they copied it. So, and then apple pie, yum. And his food group chart. So yeah, and then I'll show y'all Evangeline's apple taste test. She's really the only one that filled this out, kind of halfway filled out. She colored the apples. I thought she did well with that. Um, tried to put what colors they were. Did I just show you the wrong? Yeah, okay. So I thought she did well coloring her apples. In the years past when we've done apple taste testing just with us, you know, buy a bunch of different kinds of apples. And um, I made them like, well, I didn't make them. They really did it just because I was like, hey, do this, you know, and they were like, okay. So, but they colored and we used the colors that went with the different apples we got. This time we had friends over. And so it was really harder to say, crack down and say, hey, really write it down, like do this. It was just a better, more fun experience just for them to get apple after apple and just see how they were. We talked about their names. Um, we had a bunch of different kinds of apples. I have an apple pillar core slicer that makes like really thin slices of apple and it peels the peeling. And the funniest thing was their favorite part of the taste test was eating the peeling. You know, they're like, it's apple spaghetti, you know, like just these long strips of peeling that were coming off. They, they ate almost all of the apple peeling from every apple we had. It was hilarious. That's what they wanted, like more than the apples. So that was just unexpected on that. But, um... And then we, I made, I had them, like the apples ap that we had left over from the taste testing, we cut up really small and um, put those in our ingredients to make apple pie pockets is what we made. Um, and they came out good and the kids enjoyed eating them. So it was a really good fun thing, um, fun way to include friends and just have a good time with that. And that is how we did how to bake an apple pie and see the world. So anyway, I'm going to put some clips on the end of this, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll enjoy the clips. What does it say? Apple pie, yum! Apple pie, yum! Yum! Everybody, how do you think it says it? Apple pie, yum! What do you think, Evangeline? I think it says stinky yum. I think you're so silly. I think it says super yum. And by the way, young. this is a model of the fastest helicopter in the world. Yeah, we've been learning How about apples, right? We're How kind of dissecting it? our apples that we're, they're about to eat. So we found the apple star, and now they're seeing how many seeds are in their apple. I believe this is your seed. Yeah. Your seed flew? Mm -hmm. How many seeds did you have? I have one, two. How many Five, seeds six. do I have? Six seeds in your apple. We have to count them. Count them. Let's see how many. I think I have one I here. Two. Count these. Look, like put, put, I'm putting it back together. Count them. Me too. You put your apple back together? It's like magic. Yeah. It's like a trick. Huh? Yeah, I'm putting it back together. I'm a grown up. Mm -hmm. That's it. All right, we are painting some city scenes today for a part of our five in a row time. This is our art time. And we're just enjoying the cooler weather. We're outside on our front porch just painting away. And I'm about to read our book, How to Make an Apple Pie and See the World. All right, we are still painting. We just read our story and they're working on their paintings, and I'm just gonna read them some more stories. We have the Apple Orchard Riddle, the Apple Doll, Orange Pear Apple Bear, and then some books about England, France, Italy, Vermont, and, and Jamaica. How about Chihuahua? Sri Lanka? Well, I couldn't find one on Sri Lanka. We're going to have to look that up on the computer. Okay? Let's do England first. Oh, please. 
Oh my goodness, YouTube, I think we just need to go take a nap. Yeah, I think uh, the Everett of the Day does. I think the Everett of the Day needs to. Mommy! Why not? I don't know. Come show me your paper, baby. Please. Do you want this for me again? You remember? Yeah, I do. Where'd they get the cinnamon from? Sri Lanka. And what else do you have right here? England. England. Look at her pretty paper. And on the back, what's on the back? Where did they go next? Jamaica. Yeah, it looks good. Doesn't have a worm in it. All right, Everett, your turn. Does this count? Yeah, well, it, it counts as a space filler, but when we count our apples, it won't. Here, pick another one. See what you get. One, pick no. What'd you get? Good job. I got it. Here you go, Eden. Eden. Just pick one. Elin, what do you do? Um, 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 what does it say? Smug. Smug. Alright, your turn. We are playing Easy as Pie. It's one of my games for my website that I just printed for them to play. My printer didn't print so well. Steep. Let me see. Steep. No, the E says F. Eh. Good job. These are our mealworms. Mealworm update peeps. These are the ones we got from co-op. This guy's about to turn into that guy. One of these guys. It's very gross, if you ask me. But we will bring them back to the lady we got them from once they turn into beetles so her bearded dragon can eat them. So they're like lizard food, basically. We are going to play my Apple Orchard game and review some sight words with yeah. them use their Imaginex guys. And we're also going to review some basic audition facts for the girls. So that's what we're going to do with this. I'm Bat Queen. Bat Queen likes you. Yeah, that's Bat Queen, okay. Also known as Catwoman. Oh, I skipped this one. What did you say? What did, what? I skipped this one. What did he land on? What word? Yeah. What word is that? What? Yes, good job. All right, Everett, take a roll. I mean, Evangeline, take a roll. It doesn't, it doesn't count anyway. What would you get? The How much is that? Smarty pants. Like I'm smart. I had to yeah, think about week that. 10. We're on week ten, day forty-one of school, and we are the kids are gonna. They're cutting out little pictures of food so they can sort them yeah, into the food groups. Yeah, I got macaroni cheese. Yum. Macaroni cheese. I've already got like a hundred of them cut out. Awesome. So I'm about to read our story. I'm gonna cut How to I make an apple pie food. and see the world. Thank you. Good job. Look, where does this go? What is it? Ice cream. What do you think? Dairy. Dairy, 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 dairy. You put yours right there. Apple. Well, then, Johnny. Johnny, 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 He carries a bag full of baby trees. People ask, may I have one, please? Or do you have two tray? What do you have to trade? Says he.
Okay guys, thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I appreciate you sticking around. If you like this video, please give it some love. And yeah, we will be back next week with a new book and some new activities and everything that we're doing. So thanks for sticking with us and watching our journey. Just want to give a big shout out to all my subscribers, y'all. I just really thank you for um, following us and interacting with me on here. It's just a fun way for me to, you know, be part of the homeschool community. So appreciate y'all. See you later. Bye.